As I stated in my last video, I don't have a whole lot to do during quarantine, so mostly I just watch TikToks and play video games all day. It's a blessed life, but it's starting to lose its luster. The main reason I play games is to distract myself from my responsibilities, so not having responsibilities has made those my main focus, and because of that, I'm now getting bored and need a distraction from video games. So much so that instead of just winging it like I usually do, I'm actually writing this script right now. Anywho, that's why I've decided to get back into making videos, because at least I can feel productive. So, what does any of this have to do with Half-Life, you might be asking? Well, since I need something to distract me from all the new video games I'm in the middle of, and have never actually played it, I decided to revisit this classic, and give my impressions on it. And I also figured out how to record on my PC, so it was fun to play around with. First, for being a 22 year old game, wait, seriously? That old? Where have I been? As I was saying, for being a 20 year old game, it holds up surprisingly well. Sure, the graphics aren't the absolute best, but it's 20 plus years old. Honestly, I was totally engrossed by the story, and couldn't wait to get to the bottom of the mystery that was being laid out in front of me. The gameplay is smooth, it controls just like an FPS should, even in this modern day. Except for one small detail. WHY ARE YOU ALWAYS RUNNING? Seriously, because the game has damn auto sprint always enabled, I spent a solid 10 minutes of my playthrough on a stupid platforming section. And fell over, and over, and over, and over again, plus about five more overs. I swear, if I had more than one Twitch follower watching, I might have died of embarrassment on how bad of a gamer I was. Granted, the only game I've played on PC in the last decade has been the old and public, but still, it should not be that hard to control. What's even worse, if you want to actually walk in this game, you have to hold a button and that cannot be changed. My pinky was so sore after playing for an hour, I had to take a break because my hand was starting to cramp up. But I digress. Overall, I had a fun experience, and to anyone who, like me, just let this game fly by, I would recommend going back and playing it. I mean, it's a genre-defining classic. Just make sure to do some warm-up exercises for your hands. So, in closing, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at uh, NotSoSmart. Okay, bye!